Shalom, shalom. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. So I'm getting on here very quickly because this thought popped into my head. Um, I was just doing some work and I'm prepping for a client call soon, but I wanted to make this quick video because I just had this whole thought, this whole train of thoughts going through my head about complainers and about the African Americans and the African diaspora that returns to Africa those that choose to leave, what the key difference is, because we've seen African-Americans going to Ghana. We've seen African-Americans coming here to Tanzania. We've seen African-Americans in Senegal, African-Americans in, um, and this is also just the African diaspora in general. African-Americans are the African diaspora in Ethiopia, South Africa, Kenya, you name it. We're pretty much going to different places in our beautiful homeland and of course Sierra Leone. Can't forget where my mother's lineage is from. How could I forget Sierra Leone? Anyway, the key difference between those who stay and those who don't stay is this spirit of complaining. And it happens all the time. It happens in America. It happens everywhere. But there's this mindset shift that you have to have. You have two options in life. On the negative aspect, you can complain or on the positive side, you can critique to fix something. So when we complain, our goal isn't necessarily to fix it, but when we're critiquing to fix it, our goal is to provide a solution. Where I'm coming from with that is a lot of times people come to Africa and say, oh, it's not like America. Oh, this is this way, this isn't fixed. They do this opposite here, they do this wrong, they do all these things, and now you've come into this whole thought process of complaining, right? But we have to, as a community, because my problems are the same problems as my continental brothers and sisters' problems. Their problems, Tanzanians, Ghanaians, Nigerians, whoever they are, Ethiopians, their problems are also my problem. So if I'm complaining about something that's going on in the motherland and not fixing it and complaining about it on YouTube in public, to other nations and to other groups of people and to other societies, it opens up the door for negativity and just for what's already been happening the past few hundred years. It opens the door for division. And so we have to change our mindset. We have to acknowledge that whatever Tanzania's problems, whatever Nigeria, Rwanda, whoever's problems across the continent are our collective problems. So that changes things. Because if I know it's our collective problems, then I'm going to be less likely to complain about it, less likely to leave, and less likely to make it look like, oh, that's their problem. Look at them. They're doing all of these things wrong over there, right? And so y'all comment down below. Let me know how you feel about that. I feel very passionate about this. It's just something that went through my mind. Um, I've always said this has been my belief for a very long time since I was little. The time you spend complaining can actually be spent fixing something rather than just being lazy and complaining about it. Complaining is next door to laziness. They're best friends. Complaints and laziness. If you pay attention, lazy people complain and complainers are lazy. <laughs> because when you don't complain and when you're not lazy, you're doing something to fix the problem and you're hardworking and you're diligent. And so I wanted to leave that with you today as you're thinking about moving to Africa, as you're thinking about relocating anywhere in the world. Don't be a complainer. Just, if you're gonna complain wherever you go in the world, you might as well stay home and maybe fast and get in tune with the most high so that you can really get that off of you because out in the world, apart from America, apart from Europe, apart from Canada, life is real for people. And they don't need you or anyone else coming into their country to complain about everything that's wrong with it. Instead, what we can do, we can work together and fix our collective problems because it's not just their problem. If we're coming back and we say we're family and we want all these dual citizenship things and we want all of this, their problems are our problem and our problems are their problem. Shalom.